So let's get straight to the point. Damon Dash still has a love for Aaliyah, but it's getting toxic. If it wasn't for Tony, Tony, oh. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning back in. I'm here to talk about all this craziness going on because what happened? Once again, Aaliyah is trending. Because why? Damon Dash went on another podcast. And when Damon Dash goes on a podcast, just expect Ali to train because what else is he doing? What else does he have to talk about? Rockefeller, Jay-Z, and Ali. Of course, he's going to say something and it's going to go viral. Ali is going to be trending like she was. But a year ago, I did that video. Were Damon Dash and Ali meant to be? Like 20 plus years later, 22 years later. Do y'all still see them being together? Would they have got married, had kids, had that happy life, happily ever after? With the way he is, his personality, obviously, Aliyah chose him. She wanted to be with him. She started doing public appearances with him. But do y'all think that would have lasted? Especially with the way he is? As a disclaimer, like I say all the time, we didn't personally know Aliyah. We don't personally know Damon Dash, Jay-Z. We don't know what happened behind closed doors. And to be honest, it's really none of our business. But based on what we do know and all of the hoorah that this has caused, Aliyah's one of the top trends on Twitter, go figure. This is just a discussion about how toxic Damon Dash's love for Aliyah is getting. And it doesn't even have to be that way. It's one thing to reminisce on your love you have for Aliyah, who just happened to be one of the biggest stars at the time. She was only getting bigger. Everything tragically happened, but then the way he reflects, the way he reminisces on her, and that kind of thing he does, I'm gonna get into it, is really disrespectful. Because for me, I'm like, you talking about your superstar girlfriend, almost fiance, almost wife, that tragically passed the way she did 22 years ago. This is how you choose to talk about her and reminisce about her? Down like that, okay? <laughs> and half people talking about her like oh yeah see i told you she was a passing around oh, 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 oh. oh my god i'm gonna show y'all the clip right here i didn't look at her like that because she was like a tomboy she was little to me but then one time i uh she was uh i guess we had the same bookkeeper and i walked past and then about Aaliyah it was like every time i saw her she looked different so she had different looks every time and i was like who the fuck is that and then i realized it was Aaliyah, and then i just threw my a game and then, you know, I guess Jay was trying to get at her as well. And I didn't know. And then, I was, and then she, like, it got brought up. And I was like, fuck both of y'all. And But it never worked out for them. And we were both, like, trying to get at her. I, like, kind of eased up. But then we ran into each other. It's a long story. <laughs> so you and Jay was both getting at Aaliyah, obviously. Everybody, was getting, at, everybody was getting at Aaliyah, bro. Right. She was, like, she was, like, you know, she'll go to dinner with a nigga. But she wasn't going to just be smashing. So that was like the big deal, like who could get with Aaliyah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. so all put, like, was he bitter? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he felt the way. The true reason <laughs> of Rockefeller's breakup. But that's everybody knows that shit. Uh, like we were both like we were both I heard it, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't, but what they be trying to act like he was like really fucking with now. He was sending flowers and doing all the shit that nigga. He was courting her. So we were both going hard. And we, right. and we ended up in the same house for Fourth of July. So we, were, for some reason, this this day. Wait I'm a minute, like, you, Jay, and Aaliyah ended up in the same house. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, so it was like one day it might lean toward him, and then it would lean toward me. But I was just, I was just on fire that week. Like I was just everything, <laughs> everything I was saying was funny. You know what I'm saying? It was like, and I remember coming downstairs like you know it happened. He was like. <sighs> <laughs> like, you know this is gonna be hard for me because he was like because he was throwing because he you know because like you know his friends were laughing at him and shit. So. That sounds like a chatty patty. From that clip, a lot of people, and it's true, were saying like how bitter Damon Dash seemed. You know, him and Jay Z had that little falling out or huge falling out. If you listen to it carefully, he basically confirmed that Aaliyah choosing him over Jay Z is a major reason why they fell out. Why Rockefeller records just fell apart. And they went their separate ways. You know, Jay-Z is now a billionaire. And Damon Dash is... Damon Dash. But the thing about it is... The way he talks about Aaliyah in that sense. And 
you keep revealing little details about your romantic life or all I'm like, that don't seem weird to you, a little creepy to you, a little odd. You have all this love for her, right? But you still have that high school locker room, you know, black guys in a barbershop type of talk. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean, where it's like all the guys get around and talk about like, oh, the girls and who they smashed and oh, it was a thing where everybody was trying to get at that Leah. Every guy was trying to holler at Leah. I got her. Ha, ha, ha. I won. Like, you're still living in the glory days of, like, how you and Jay-Z was at that Leah, but she chose me. Ha, 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 ha. Like, he's still living in that frame of mind. Like, okay, Jay-Z made it to the top. He's a billionaire now, but at least I got Aaliyah back in the day. And it's kind of, like, weird. That sounds like a chatty patty. Jay-Z is not the one running around being a chatty patty every chance he gets not to mention another toxic part into this is that to my knowledge isn't damon dash still married <laughs> i also meant to mention how a few years ago it came out that damon dash's girlfriend now fiance came out saying how she looks to alia to guide their relationship and she speaks to her spirit and hmm take what y'all want from that y'all hear this do y'all see this is this normal to y'all does this seem normal to y'all? Then the thing that gets me is all the people that see these clips, they saw that clip of Damon Dash talking like that, but then they take that and wanna spin it and like victim blame it and like, you have the people like, oh my God, there were so many predators around Aaliyah. I talked about this a few months ago when I did the video about Timberland. But then you had those people that was like, oh see, I told y'all, Aaliyah was a pass around. And then I'm saying, did y'all skip the part where Damon Dash, I his own mouth said, Aaliyah was not easy. Not She'll let you take her to dinner, blah, blah, blah. But y'all wasn't going to be together like that. Aaliyah wasn't the type to hop around from homie to homie. She wasn't a homie hopper, you know, executive hopper, sleeping with this one for beats. No, she built and established relationships with people, friendships with people. Like I said, we don't know what happened behind closed doors, but... As much as Damon Dash runs his mouth, if that's what it was, he would have said it. That sounds like a chatty patty. You see, through all of this, Jay-Z has never really spoke out about this. I haven't seen or heard one recent or even back then interview of Jay-Z really talking about his love for Ali or what he tried to pursue her or court her or whatever. Jay-Z, though, got time to talk about that. No, I'm pretty sure Jay-Z still remembers Ali. He still has feelings for Ali. Y'all remember back in the day? When Miss You came out and he did a remix, and your family's missing you, your family's missing you, and we missing you. You remember that? And I don't know about any other areas, but in New York, they was playing a Jay Z Miss You remix more than the original song. So obviously, Jay Z still has some type of attachment to Aaliyah. Probably still does, but we will never know because he doesn't run his mouth going on different podcasts every two months trying to relive in those glory days of when Aaliyah was trying to choose between him or Demi Dad. Like, why even discuss that? That sounds like a chatty patty. This is just a quick edit. I also wanted to say, I find it funny. I find it ironic. I find it interesting how Damon Dash will go on this press tour. He'll happily talk about his romantic life with Aaliyah, but you won't discuss any details about her passing and about why Lenny Kravitz sent that plane that Hype Williams ended up taking, and all the situations and the ramifications behind Aaliyah's accident, you know, her death, she's not physically here anymore. It's been 22 years. You may know some more information, but you won't talk about that out of respect for her family. But you're happily, cheerily, glowingly talk about your romantic life with Aaliyah with some randoms on a podcast and how... Aaliyah chose you over Jay-Z? That sounds like a chatty patty. So with all of this toxic behavior in this barbershop, high school locker room talk that he do, like, oh yeah, I was the guy. Oh yeah, I had her laughing. Oh like, yeah, all the guys was trying to get after her. You know, she chose me. It's kind of like, in a way, obviously, like I said, Aaliyah saw something in him she liked. You know, she probably liked that type of thing he had going on, his charisma, whatever. But I don't see them lasting. 
them being together still in 2023, I don't see it. Like the way he acts and was most likely cheating and would have been cheating, I just don't see them still being together. What are y'all thoughts on this? That clip I showed y'all, do y'all see what I'm talking about when I say Damon Dash still has his love for Alia, but it's getting more toxic as the years go on, as the interviews go on. Like every other interview he does, he reveals something or he says something. He'd be like, did you really have to say that? Wow, that's that's a great question. Can we just get some more good Aliyah news? Like, I just want to see something fun or Aliyah's getting this, Aliyah's getting that. She's getting a new honor, a new award. I want to hear some nice, some fun, some good, some exciting Aliyah news instead of like drama and gossip from 22 years ago. With all that being said, please let me know your thoughts down below. I can't wait to get this discussion started with y'all because there's a lot to unpack. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.